Hello and welcome back. I'm Wolfdip and today we're gonna embroider my favorite meme. So first thing I did was go online and find a good quality image of the meme I wanted to trace. Went ahead and traced it. Then I made sure that it was a bit smoothed out, since I did this really quickly and quite roughly. I also changed it to black, so it will be easy to see <laughs> when I print it out, as you see me doing here. Then I took a piece of baking sheet and started tracing it out on that as well. Trying to be careful not to rip the paper with the thin pencil. Then I took a bit of transfer paper, cut out a piece of that and made sure I had the clothing ready for it to, to be transferred on. Pinned it down securely and started tracing that yet again with the embossing tool. This went pretty easily as well. I was lucky and didn't poke many holes in the paper. And I was quite nervous, hoping that I'd actually transferred the chalk to the dress. Then I just ripped it off and voila! Perfect! As you can see, I have quite a stretchy fabric. So I knew that I needed some stabilizer. So I cut off a good piece of stabilizer. Then I placed it underneath the fabric between the two embroidery hoops. Cut out my needle and thread and started embroidering. And immediately I have issues. <laughs> it was not tight at all. It, it started loosening up. So I was trying to really tighten it securely and stretch the fabric. After just doing this a little bit, I could feel that the fabric was giving in way too much. So I thought I might just size up the hoop that I was using, hoping that that would make it a bit easier for me to actually stabilize the whole thing. Now, as you can see, I am still having a bit of issue getting it secured. And 
and I don't know what happened. It was just knot after knot. <laughs> I could feel the fabric puckering and I just knew that this was a curse. So I just gave up pretty quickly with that one. Uh, found, uh, went to my closet and found something else instead that wasn't so elastic. And after doing that, I repeated the whole process that I <laughs> just did. Again, tracing on the baking sheet. I didn't have enough white chalk uh, transfer paper at this point, so I had to choose blue. <laughs> I tacked that on. Traced it with the embossing tool. This time, I don't know if I was applying a bit more pressure, you can see me there checking it, but uh, it started to poke holes. Maybe it was that the fabric I was using is quite a bit thicker. It's a dress, but it's uh, not padded, but it's like a winter dress. <laughs> I can tell by the way I'm holding the embossing tool that I was getting a bit annoyed. <laughs> it's important to clean up after yourself. And voila! Thanks! I hate it! <laughs> so here I'm just placing the embroidery hoop again, just pushing forward. And it was so difficult to get this straight. It wouldn't go straight at all, it had lots of denting. Uh, it was pretty loose um, inside of the hoop, so I think I should have just gotten some new um, stabilizer as well, because I think that was what was creating the problem. As soon as I started again, I got knots on the thread. So I decided to just take a break and make some delicious chai tea. After that little tea making break, I decided to put on a relaxing movie and just lay down to embroider. I actually laid down this way to be able to film myself embroidering. Uh, it was not comfortable at all. <laughs> and I didn't realize I have such uh, dancing feet. <laughs> this is me watching a movie and embroidering. I'm not listening to music at all. Maybe I was a tap dancer in a previous life. Ah, oh, knots. <laughs> So far, so good. I went for the details in the face pretty early on, since the transfer paper worked so poorly. I wanted to make sure that I, I didn't lose any of the details in the face, or 
basically where to place them. And here I am, just embroidering like a freaking trooper. And this is the result. I pricked myself so many times during this project and it was just a curse from the start to finish but all in all I'm pretty happy with the result. And that's the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. If you have anything on your mind please leave it down in the comments. If you'd like to support me please consider to like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. Mm, bye!